You've given so much to your teams and the people that you've inspired. Who is the person that's inspired you? Who has been your teacher and what did they give to you? Um, but my, my honest answer is there's, there's no one person I, I can describe. I think one of the, the big things for, for me growing up, um, it was almost the opposite. There were so many people kept telling me, I wouldn't do this, you can't do this, you can't do this. And the, the more they said it, the more it kind of became within me. There's no one person I, I can call who's my mentor. I was just, uh, I, to be honest, I wasn't that close to my parents. I kind of left home pretty early and just got, just kind of, Got on with it, but it's, it's so many people say you wouldn't be able to do things, or you, or you couldn't do things, and that was that was more the inspiration to me to actually just prove people wrong in many ways, and in a, in a real positive positive manner. And I just got quite lucky in the various things I did, and, and you know, in, including you know the, the rugby, and that, that kind of moved me into the, the Xerox world. Um, but to be honest, there's no one person I say oh, that was the person who was, and it, the people I admire in in the business and sporting world who I do look to are people who've been there long long term. You know, I don't think you. You know, Alex Ferguson, for example, in the football world, you know, for him to be you know, at that club for 21, 22 years or whatever and, and lead in those times, that's huge. So it's just the, the people I admire is the people who are there for the long term and really stick at it because it doesn't go like that. It goes all over the place. So that's my honest answer to that. Thank you. So knowing what you know now about your approach, is there anything you would have done differently if oh, you think, had your time again? Yeah, I think, I think there's loads of things you, you do differently. But in saying that, when you, when you look back, Sometimes your best learnings uh, are when things are not going well. At the time, you hate it. I mean, losing a game of rugby, for example, is... I mean, we did lose to Scotland once. I mean, it was just the, <laughs> the worst experience. You just can't imagine what you go through. But looking back now, all those... That was a joke, by the way, about Scotland. <laughs> it's... Um, sometimes you, 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 can, you can certainly learn from being successful and winning, but it's, you, you look back and actually that was a big lesson learned. And sometimes you can only learn lessons if you go through the pain yourself. Yeah. And, it, and it's the same at university with exams and new startup companies, all those things. It, it's not going to happen. It's, that's not the real world. There's going to be tough times. Yeah. And you find out more about yourself, the people you work with, your team, when things are not going well as when, as when they are going well. So the answer to your question, again, I, I wouldn't change anything because all those have been learnings. I look back now and so say, I shouldn't have done that. But at the time, okay, you, but you learn and you kind of come, come through the whole okay. process. Okay, thank you. And what aspect of your leadership uh, over your you know, really impressive career has had the most impact on your life and the most effect on you? Oh, I, I, you mean personally? Yes. Oh, I think, you know, I was, I was, you know, I was incredibly lucky. I was the first England rugby coach, so, you know, I was the first guy in, so I, I could make, you know, I'd have been disappointed myself I'd not made a difference. But, you know, that period of time was just amazing. It was just one of those wonderful periods. You know, all, the, all those players... Um, you know, we had our moments. It wasn't perfect all the time. We, we had you know, situations where, where, where things occurred. But it was just an amazing time of your life. And I'll never, never forget that. And that did, you know, which I'll never forget. And I loved, you know. And you've, uh, but I've always, always promised myself I'm moving on as well. That you can't just keep stood at the bar the rest of your life talking about thinking Rugby World Cup in 2003. You've got to move on and do different things, which, which I've done, which I'm yeah. really, really pleased about now. I'm also really pleased when you see that, that team of people you know, almost that exception, they've all gone on to do good, good things. Great you know, things, they've yeah. all moved on from the rugby world, and you, you see them in coaching now, you see them in, in media positions. They're all doing pretty well, which, again, I'm pleased about. Great. Uh, but that was a special time, you, and you can't even try and replicate that. It's just a great time of your life, and you're just pleased that you happen to be lucky enough to be, be there, really. Be there. Well, it's been a great privilege hearing about your experience and, and seeing that sort of crystallised into the lessons that we can take away. Uh, so thank you for that. Thank you.